flight from Paris to Detroit was diverted to Canada Friday night after an unruly passenger caused some problems on board, that according to officials. Yeah, this is just the latest in a growing number of incidents involving bad behavior on flights across the world. Channel 3's Ivan Rodriguez takes a look at what's behind the behavior and what's being done about it. Ivan. Mark, Aaron, a new report found unruly passenger incidents increased from 2021 to 2022. And a lot of these incidents involve things like noncompliance, verbal abuse, and intoxication. Passengers behaving badly midair. The disturbing trend of unruly passengers on flights is steadily on the rise, according to a new global analysis by the International Air Transport Association. The number of incidents up by more than a third in 2022 from 2021. Incidents of problematic passengers increasing by a whopping 37% year-on-year per yada. Some of the biggest issues, intoxication, verbal abuse, and non-compliance with the rules. Yet aside vaping and smoking as the leading rule broken by rebellious flyers, followed by failure to fasten seatbelts when instructed, exceeding the carry-on baggage allowance, or failing to store baggage when required, and consumption of own alcohol on board. While in-flight physical violence remains rare, there was a disturbing 61% rise from 2021 to 2022. If somebody's belligerent, if somebody's abusive, there's no real immediate remedy. You can't just kick them off the plane. In response, airlines along with the FAA are working towards zero tolerance policies with the hope of curbing misconduct. Don't do anything that would cause a threat or a disruption to your fellow passengers and your flight crews. The pilot always says uh, that flight attendants are there primarily for your safety and, and that's right. Now, Ivan, flying is already stressful enough and flight attendants are working very hard to keep everybody safe. What, what is the International Air Transport Association, what are they saying they'd like to see done here to kind of stop this? So we're also hearing them say that they want more of an emphasis on training and guidance to de-escalate a lot of these incidents when they take place. The deputy general actually also says that since the majority of intoxication incidents happen way before boarding a flight in places like restaurants and bars, they want to uh, get, get a closer relationship with a lot of these establishments so that they can make sure that people are consuming responsibly. All right, Ivan Rodriguez reporting for us tonight. Ivan, thank you so much.